Hello everybody, my name is Jar Red, and welcome to Santa Monica by Night. This is a game on itch.io. It was very much inspired by Vampire the Masquerade, which is one of my favorite games of all time, and I'm extremely happy to hear that they are making a sequel to it finally. But until then, I think we shall play Santa Monica by Night, which is a homage to that game. So without further ado, I'm going to dive right into this Santa Monica by night. Enter your name. Jar Red. Ooh. Santa Monica. Is it by night? I've never really been here before. At least, not in real life. But it feels so familiar now that I'm here. Fifteen years have passed since I've played that damn game for the first time. Back then, a dark, immersive fantasy. Nothing more, nothing less. Did I wish I could live in a grim world filled with bloodsuckers? Heh. <laughs> Heh. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, vampires, all right. But what I didn't realize was, it was all true. My God. <gasps> it all changed when he appeared in my life. He turned me and let me taste the blood for the first time. He told me I'm different than others, than him, but he didn't reject me. How nice. Instead, he sent me here. To a place I wanted to visit so badly. And now, I guess the only thing left for me to say is... Hello, L.A. Hello. You're way past your bedtime. Are we? Is this how it all begins? Oh, all kinds of things. Oh my goodness, point and click. Just check the note. Thin blood, your curse, but screw this verse, such trouble I sense, and one so young, come find me where lies the doomslayer, hum, BT. It's a nice little rhyme, thank you. It's on the old boob tube. I thought I'd be able to talk to the TV guy at least, but it only plays ads. Um, okay. <laughs> Ooh. Project Fraser Secure Network from subject Julius XXX dang it's big you know I wonder what that's all about <laughs> already arrived oh my goodness all kinds of stuff John Red by the time you read this email you should have already arrived in Santa Monica I hope all your expectations were met Here's everything you need to know about your task. My sire, the Toreador, going by the name of Vincent Lenz, is rumored to have disappeared in L.A. I want him found. I take care of this issue myself, but my reputation precedes me. I expect you to blend in with the crowd, as the city is swarming with thin bloods. Remember, you're not powerful enough to do anything stupid. Check the attachment for more information. Wishing you good luck, your sire. Oh. Thank you for your, um, dossier. Skelter, meeting. Hi, Jar Red. Heard you're new in town. Not like we need any more TBs. Is that thin bloods? If I hear you're chit chatting with the police and kind around like some of the others do, you'll be on your way to Sacramento by tomorrow. Drag behind a car in full daylight. Just saying. If you're one of the sane ones looking for someone to show you the ropes, come find me in the asylum. Skelter. Oh, I don't think I want to. That does not sound good. Oops. How do I? Oh, there we go. Let us leave. Ooh, oh my, bugs. A manhole. Do I really want to go down there right now? Instant noodles, super spicy, call today. <laughs> they must be good noodles if they can afford a giant advertisement like that. This is probably the entrance to the sewers. No, I don't want to go down there. Not yet. Oh, are you my friend? Psst, hey. Want to buy some? Uh, what, drugs? I'm not into drugs, sorry. <sighs> no. I mean porn. Of course. Who doesn't who doesn't buy it that way? Wait, what? Dude, I have everything you need. All your dirty fantasies made true on tape. I 
don't think anyone can play tapes nowadays. I don't mean literal tapes, of course. Sorry, just my old work habits. Why are you selling porn in a dark alley, exactly? Haven't I told you already? I have everything you need. Yeah, that drove me out of my Hollywood shop. Should you be in jail now, then? It's not that kind of porn, jeez. It's worse. Look, I've seen some shit throughout my career. Some dark, dark things I've never wanted to see. Once I got a delivery of videos from an unknown source, the actors seemed to have fun, but they were all... deformed. Like 1920s Nosferatu kind of deformed. Uh-huh. Look, there's a market for that kind of thing. I've started selling them. Until one night, I heard the knocking to my door. The ugly types, they came for me. They took all my tapes and made me promise I'll close my shop. So I did. Little did they know, I still had stashed copies. And now, here I am. You're lucky you're alive, pal. Don't have to tell me. So what'll it be? The gangrene stripper deluxe? The ultimate pimple popper? I didn't bring my wallet with me, but I'll be back later, all right? Sure, honey. Don't call me, honey. How dare you? The asylum. Oh my god. The very first and most famous asylum club. Nowadays, it's a huge franchise. Of course it is. It's only a matter of time before vampires became, uh, corporate. I guess we should go into the asylum since we're supposed to meet someone in there. Oh my goodness. Oh my, Skelter. Is that you with the glowing, creepy eyes? Uh, so you're the new guy in town. Has it been a week since the previous fresh thin blood I've met here? I swear it's a fucking mass production nowadays. Uh, name's Skelter. Um, hi. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jar Red. <laughs> Let me guess, your sire abandoned you, you have no idea what's going on. Your goth dream was to become a sexy beast, but now you want to go back to your girlfriend and you miss your mama's sandwiches. Sound familiar? <laughs> wow, can you read minds? It's no surprise. This is what happens to most thin bloods around here, ditched by their sires as their living mistakes. They spend their short afterlife seeking revenge or meaning to all of this. And that's usually why their lifespan is so short. Trust me on this and don't haunt your sire. Learn. Adapt. It's the only way to survive these final nights fledgling. Eh, thanks for the advice, Skelter. Is that the only thing you need, though? Advice? Uh, no, actually, I'm, um... Looking for a vampire called Vincent Lenz. Huh. The word of advice, fledgling. Don't go around that town waving names like that. You never know who had the beef with the guy. Oh, uh... Don't worry about me, though. Okay, I, I won't fucking lens. So you do know him? Like most old timers in LA, yeah. He used to help us, first with LaCroix, then the next prince. After that, we finally won the city back. But Lenz was gone. I don't think his intentions were genuine. My theory is he wanted that crown for himself. Once he realized Camarilla was dead here, he disappeared. Huh. Why are you looking for him? My sire wants him found. Oh, so that's why he keeps you around. Is that bad? No, it's completely normal. What's in it for your sire, then? <laughs> I think they might be in love. That's never good. Let me guess, Toreadors? You guessed right. Fucking hell, you're lucky you're a thin blood. Listen, if he wasn't hiding somewhere, someone would have seen him. And the only place to hide here? Sewers. Doesn't sound very Toreador, but maybe he's desperate. You should contact Nosferatu. We don't have many friends with them. Fucking Camarilla Royalists. But Bertram Tongue might know more. Thanks, Skelter. <laughs> no problem, Jar Red. We're good as long as you don't cause a mess in the city. Oh, well, I'll try my best not to. Ch cheers. I have no drink, but cheers. I guess we need to go into the sewers. We said we wouldn't go in there. On the kind of, oh dear, that's blood. That's not good. Doomsayer sign. He was right. He was right. <laughs> I guess this is where the Doomsayer lies. Or rather, lied. <laughs> you get it? Lied? <laughs> wow, this guy is as funny as I am in real life. Opening. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh? He's here. Fucking bloodsucker. Get him, boys! Thump. Ouch! Walk. Tie him up. Tie him up. 
Why are you so mean to me? Ugh, my head. How long have I been here? He's awake. He's awake. Remove the blindfold. Oh, shit. Look, look into his evil eyes. Oh, no, father, please don't hurt me. Now you shall die, creature of the night. Show him the sun. Oh, get... Sh uh, ouch. Let the rays of God set you aflame, monster. Uh, um, he's not burning. I don't think he's a vampire, father. Nonsense, he's probably very powerful. Hey, we made him unconscious with two punches earlier. He's just a weakling. Just like in real life. Oh. Clearly, it's just a sleep-deprived student. Derek, you can hide the sun now. My eyes need some rest. Thanks, Derek. This is not over. What the? Bam. Run away. Run away. Dot, dot, dot. Let me cut these ties for you. Huh? What? Who are you? Uh, where's that light switch? <gasps> oh, whoever that was, it must have gotten through the sewers. Oh, my. I guess we must follow them. What a twisted web we weave. Oh, hi. Well, well, well. Look who's not a fried chicken. Ah, uh, how's that possible? Um, excuse my manners. I'm Jar Red. You must be... I know who you are, Fletching. My name is Bertram Tongue. Thanks for saving me, Bertram. And thank you on blood, first and foremost. Some thin bloods can still see the sun, unlike most of us. It won't kill you instantly, just make you weaker. But the garlic, I heard it shouldn't happen. From where? A video game? <laughs> Listen, Fletcher, you're a real vampire now. It's time to put your knowledge gathered from video games aside. But that's where I get all my information. I heard you're looking for someone. No point in hiding this anymore, I guess. Yo, Sire put you on a very dangerous mission. Listen, I'll ask around. If a single rat sees Vincent, you'll get an email about this. Check your inbox when you have time. All right. Uh, thanks. I appreciate it, creepy Nosferatu. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to the rats. Uh, sure. Like, actual rats? I'm just going to explore the sewers a little. Bye! No, Flint. I don't have money still. I'm not buying your creepy-ass porn. Golden Boy. Oh, hi. Hello there, boss. I found your lost little lamb. It's in the sewers right below your apartment. I sent my man there to unlock it for you. Just a warning, though, boss. The Just a warning, boss. The reunion may not be as sweet as you expect it to be. Teehee! Enjoy. I don't want to now. But I've got no choice. Oh, good. Oh, good. I, I wasn't the one that left it uncovered, so I'm not fully responsible for all the bad things that happen to people in this city. Proceed. Oh my, Vincent. Oh fuck. Blah. Tell Julius. Blah. Tell him that I. <laughs> oh boy. There's a letter on the wall. Camarilla scum will not be tolerated in Los Angeles. We killed LaCroix. We killed Tara. We will kill everyone who tries to take away our freedom. Let this be a warning. I need to inform my sire about this immediately. Uh, but how do I put that in a goddamn email? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Let's just try and find out. Julius, meet me. I know what happened. Meet me on Santa Monica Pier as soon as you can. Jay. Oh my goodness, Jay. Might be in trouble, but there's no point in running now. He knows exactly where I am. Shit. Uh, I guess we go meet. Oh. Oh. Are you Julius? I'm so sorry. It was the work of the Anox, right? Yes. How did you know? Vincent was a fool to meddle with them. They play the role of noble idealists, but underneath it all, they're just monsters, just like the rest of us. Will you seek your revenge then? No. Anox haven't killed just one vampire today. What do you mean? I'm staying here. You mean in Santa Monica? On this beach until dawn. Oh, quite literally you're staying here. May the first rays of the water be the last thing I see. Julius, come on, buddy. Let's get out of here. Let's go have a drink. Jared, listen to me now. I'm giving you something that Vincent could never give me. What I'm offering you is a choice. What are you talking about? It is said that your kind, the thin-blooded kind, 
can still go back to being human. Maybe, if you're lucky. How? One must kill their sire to get that chance. Kill you? But that's not your only option. You may drink my blood as well. Drain me dry. Julius, stop this nonsense. I'm not stupid, Julius. I, I, I'm immune to sunlight. And I can't at least stay with you until the end. Oh. No wonder you'd rather remain a thin blood then. Fine. Stay with me. Until the dawn. Oh. Thank you, my child. No. Thank you. You're not mad at me for your embrace? I know I should be, but you taught me everything I know. You brought me here. I wanted to come here for such a long time, Julius. And you're not disappointed? It's too early to tell. But somewhere deep in my heart, I feel like I'm home. Oh dear. Oh dear, that's the sun. Oh, <gasps> Julius, no. Remember, wherever we go, it is the blood of King which makes our fate. The end. Poor Julius. Damn it all. Well, there you have it. Santa Monica by night. That was actually really cool. I, there was a lot of bits in there that reminded me of Vampire the Masquerades. Again, if you guys haven't played that, I, I recommend playing it. I remember it being a very buggy game, so it might be kind of hard at this point. But if you can, try it. This was a lot of fun taking kind of a trip down memory lane in a, in, a, in a weird sort of way. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. If you did, hit the like button. Tell me what you guys thought of this game in the comments down below. If you haven't already, share this video and subscribe to the channel for more vampire type games such as this. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. You've been awesome. Let's play again soon, and I'll see you in the next video.